What's up guys, Theo here. Doing a quick prediction for UFC 296, Shamil Gazeev taking on Martin Boudet. So I'm really excited for this fight. Uh, I'm probably in the minority here, but I, I actually am like, this is one of my most hyped fights for this card that is really, really stacked. Um, I am a Martin Boudet fan, okay? I'll just throw it out there. A lot of people are gonna be like, what? But he's actually probably my favorite heavyweight in the UFC. I personally just love his fighting style. I love his decision making. And uh, I've just really liked to watch the guy fight. And I've bet on him basically in every single fight uh, up to this point. So I'm just a big fan of Martin Boudet. I think he's great. And then he's fighting another really great prospect in Shamil here, who got a win on uh, Dana White Contender Series, obviously. And this guy's a Dagestani. Um, he trains out of uh, Bahrain, that gym that Murtaza Ali trains out of, who burned us so badly on Contender Series. But hey, whatever. It's okay. I actually am going to pick against Martin Boudet. Yes, my favorite UFC heavyweight. I'm going to pick against him for the first time against this guy because we're getting Shamil Gazeev at plus money here. We're getting a heavyweight Dagestani at plus money okay in a in a heavyweight fight against a guy who yes martin boudet is extremely extremely talented and uh i can go in depth on him later because i just like him a lot as a fighter but guys this is gonna be the first time i'm gonna bet against him because we have to take plus money on uh shamil we have to he's a dagestani and you know what he's got heavy heavy hands and he's got good wrestling and uh Martin Boudet looked like he was struggling against Jake Coyer's power. And if Jake Coyer was giving him trouble on the feet, I have a feeling Shamil Gazeev is going to give him trouble on the feet as well. Uh, I'm, this is a really interesting stylistic matchup because Shamil has great striking. He's got power. And he's got great wrestling. Um, but he gets caught in uh, jiu-jitsu transitions a lot. He gets caught in submissions. And Martin Boudet is like a European jiu-jitsu champion. So it's just a very interesting stylistic matchup. And it's one of the few times I actually, in my life betting, I have ever really, really, really wanted to be wrong because my gut is telling me I have to say that Shamil will win this especially at plus money if you're factoring in the betting because to get plus money on a Dagestani guy like this uh, is crazy. And you just have to you have to take that when you've seen that Martin Bidet's weakness is like skilled strikers. That seems to be his weakness. And this guy is a skilled striker that has good wrestling that, uh, you know, Martin might not be able to immediately capitalize on the ground game that he has, right? Because Shamil has shown that his wrestling is incredibly good and he gets out of submissions when he gets into them. He's been caught in several submissions and he always gets out. So just from my perspective, looking at the odds here and the stylistic matchup and my gut feeling about Shamil and about Martin, I would have to make my pick here, Shamil. And honestly, this is one of the few times I ever hoped I, I'm wrong. I really hope I'm wrong because I love Martin Boudet. He's my favorite UFC heavyweight, to be honest. I love the way he fights. Um, he's just like an extremely oddly talented dude. He was a professional gamer and then he was like a European Jiu Jitsu champion and now he's in the UFC. So, I mean, you know, I play a little bit of video games. Anybody who plays video games know how hard it is to be a professional gamer. Anybody who does jiu-jitsu knows how hard it is to become a European jiu-jitsu champion. And everybody who does MMA knows how hard it is to make it into the UFC. So this guy has had three different, basically, passions at this point in his life. And he's gotten to the absolute top level in literally all of them. That's a bit odd, isn't it? When you watch his fights, he just has great decision-making. And I just love the way he, he brings punishment to his opponents. Man, I really, really hope I'm wrong here. I really do. I hope that Martin Boudet just shows up again and just exposes a, a, this prospect who doesn't have UFC experience yet. I have seen him struggle in fights on the regional scene, 
but at plus money, you got to take you got to take this guy because he's got a puncher's chance, man. And uh, he, he's not going to go away in the first round. I feel like this fight, I feel like the first round is going to decide a lot about this fight. We're going to figure out if Martin can get him down. We're going to figure out if he can, if Martin can take Shamil's shots. Um, there's just a lot of questions. It's a really interesting stylistic matchup. And I just think you have to take the underdog. Uh, so I'm going with Shamil. Guys, I hope I'm wrong. I hope Martin pulls this off. Uh, he's minus 200 favorite, so obviously the bookies think he will. But I don't think that uh, that line is correct. I think it should be much closer than this. For a guy that we've seen struggle against Jake Coyer and Lucas Bresky. Uh, although I think he decisively won those fights. I do not question his victories over those fighters. Uh, you saw him struggle with the striking. Uh, so I just feel like you have to take Shamil here, even though I love Martin Boudet and please, I hope I'm wrong, but keep it locked in guys. More picks coming later this week for UFC 296.